Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connections from Eagle Community Television, our community connected. Thanks for watching and thanks to our producer, Jeff Durall. We're on the campus of Fort Hayes State University in Davis Hall in the Technology Studies Department in room 150, which is the wood shop as uh, we can tell by looking and also of course that great wood shop smell that you get uh, as part of the events of the weekend. The <coughs> Department of Technology Studies at Fort Hayes State University is teaming up for TOTS and once again presenting a program of construction of wooden toys which will be distributed. We're joined by the director of the program, uh, Dwayne Renfro, who is an associate professor of technology studies at Fort Hayes State University. Dwayne, if we might, tell us uh, to start <coughs> off with what happens on Saturday, December 1st. Okay, on Saturday, December 1st at about 9 o'clock, we, we encourage people from the community, other teachers, other people from the university to gather here and, and we assemble generally about 250 toys and uh, we have people from all ages all the way I always like to say from um, from 8 to 85 that come in and, and help the the assembly process basically is what we're doing at that point and uh, generally speaking we start at about 9 o'clock of course a lot of um, the uh, people like me and some of the other faculty and students get here at 8 so we can get things set up and then we get really rolling about 9 and then we're generally done by shortly afternoon. Uh, we always try to feed our group pizza also at noon, and so we can give kind of some perks to the people that, that want to show up. Speaking of, uh, do we have some folks to thank for the uh, refreshments and the meal that'll take place? Yes, I think mm -hmm. uh, the, the Coca-Cola people, and I believe Pizza Hut, I think mm -hmm. is going to f do it again this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also, I think uh, Dylan's, I believe, also supply some f refreshments in the morning. And so we, we have a lot of community people also that, that help support this program. Well, uh, we certainly want to encourage folks to uh, come to the event. Uh, but what if we don't have any woodworking skills? Uh, That's Dwayne? fine. Uh, a lot of, especially a lot of our, our young children course if they're below say 12 years old we expect them to have a, an adult mm -hmm. with them but a lot of times mm -hmm. we have the really young kids are, are what we call part runners mm -hmm. in other words back behind us we might be sanding parts and then they'll go from that table over to an assembly table and so they can bring things back and forth and it really doesn't take a whole lot of instruction to show people how to sand mm -hmm. that's going to be one of our biggest things is smoothing the different parts that we have to get them ready to assemble and generally speaking, then we have uh, a lot of our faculty and, and students from uh, the, the production systems class will do a lot of the more hazardous things. We definitely want this to be a safe situation for people to be. It can be a little bit hectic when we get about 65 people in here. And, and sometimes we do kind of run out of space because we do have such an outpouring of support for this. Dwayne, I've known of people who have been a part of this event. It's kind of like one of those holiday tradition mm -hmm. type things mm -hmm. that have come for years and years mm -hmm. and just helped out wherever they were needed. That's exactly true. Uh, we, we assemble the toys, but we sand a lot of parts. Mm -hmm. We put finish on them. Uh, we set them on the tables. And so uh, there's generally things for, for anybody to do. They're ready to go then basically to the young people, right? Uh, they, we let the finish cure for about a week. It's an oil-based finish that is non-toxic and everything. And uh, uh, it usually needs to set about a week for it to totally cure. It's a, a penetrating finish. 23rd year for this program, yes. right, Dwayne? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you kind of inherited this from actually the founder and one of mm -hmm. the premier professors at Fort Hayes State University mm -hmm. in Technology mm -hmm. Studies, Dr. Fred Ruda. Yes. And actually this year we are going to start coining this the Dr. Fred P. Ruda Toys for Tots activity. And because he definitely has been the, the lead mm -hmm. on, on this activity and he's left a large hole in our department with his untimely passing and but we can still cherish the moments that we had together with 
with his cowboy boots clicking down the hallway. We always <laughs> knew him when he's coming because you could hear him coming. He could never surprise anybody, That's I true. think. That's uh, true. Dwayne, how does this uh, come about? Tell us about some of the event preparations before the actual Saturday event. Okay, and actually now this activity actually gets started a year from when it takes place. Um, we've mentioned the fact that there's a class called Production Systems, and that class entails seeing how production takes place at an industry level. And so in that class, I divide the class up into their specialty areas because we have lots of different special areas that like the drafting or communications, the manufacturing, construction. And so I have these students all, they actually apply for different jobs in this class. And then I put them in different groups and we have a research and design group that works with designing uh, prototype toys to select from. Mm -hmm. And then we have a group that sets up the flow process or how this operation is going to take place and we also have a team that actually comes in and and works on preparing what we call pre-production uh, the big pile that you see back behind so that takes place a year in advance so we can get the idea down and start planning because uh, before that it all took place in one semester which was really hectic hmm. to try to get a, a design tied down and then a prototype made of it and perfected and then get all the, the fixtures set up and then all the pre-production and then get it done mm -hmm. within a semester because it does take a lot of time. Once the design is selected, then we start doing the, what we call pre-production. Mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, a standard stock like two befores typically mm -hmm. and then cut those down and we try to have all of those types of operations done before that first Saturday in December. So that we really don't have very many machines actually running mm -hmm. during the operation to keep it a safe operation. So it typically going from a big pile of two befores that we bring in and let dry, uh, it generally takes most of a semester to get that all ready to go. There's a lot of behind the, the scenes things that take place, the ordering the wheels and the pins mm -hmm. and, and everything else that goes with it, getting them here on time. And so it's, it's quite a process Actually, the Saturday is just kind of the, the dot on the, on the period when it comes to that. Kind of the culmination yes, of a year-long exactly. uh, effort. To... It's definitely the climax uh -huh. of it because it all, it all comes together and then we can all uh, have a sigh of relief when, when it does work correctly, which it, it generally, we have enough people that are adaptable that if we have a little errors here and there, we can get those uh, figured out pretty quick. A part doesn't come in yes, or something, uh -huh. some glitch mm -hmm. occurs mm -hmm. like that in the whole yes. process. But you literally start from zero, don't you, Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the event itself, the 23rd annual event, um, why do you do it? What does it give the kids? What's, <clears throat> what's the learning process involved here from the associate professor's point of view? Well, for one thing, these students from the different areas, the cons communications, drafting, woodworking, construction, manufacturing stuff, it helps, it gives them an opportunity to use what they're learning from other classes, number one. But I think more importantly, it's, it's, it's a uh, service learning type of a project. Now, not everybody in that one class will come in and work. They're, it's basically those ones that, that signed up for the actual production of it but it gives them a sense of giving back. You know, in, in this day and age where it's all give me, give me, give me, give me, it's really good to see our students and other people giving. And I think it's important for these little kids that come in that see all this taking place, that they get a feeling of giving too, rather than just consuming. And so uh, it gives our students an opportunity to use some of the talents they have but it also has, makes them to think on a broader scale, on a more global scale. And also, the reason why we do it is because there is a need. Mm -hmm. uh, I would hope that at some point we won't need to have any toys that go out to, to those young kids that need something. That would be a wonderful world if we could do that. But until that happens, then we'll still be making toys. These designs, uh, talk about uh, where they, uh, who, who picks the final design from all of those submitted? Up until this last year, most of the time that well, I've been with, involved with them for 17 years, mm -hmm. and typically Dr. Ruta, Fred would, would, our class would work on it, 
they would pick six prototypes, or I would pick six prototypes, then we'd take those six and they would present them to Dr. Ruda, and then he would make the final selection. Uh, it, I, it's kind of fallen to me at that point now. <laughs> I've always tried to be just kind of in the background. With I've always felt like Dr. Ruda was Santa Claus and I was just the head elf, is, is how I like to see myself. But uh, for the most part, Dr. Ruda was the one that would select the toys. Well, this year, uh, the final produced product for the youngsters will be one of which is the, uh, the model that's already the prototype, mm -hmm. I guess, here. A dump truck this year, huh? Talk mm -hmm. about that, if you well, want. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do this year, last year we did a fire truck and it had a lot of different pieces and I think I just about wore my sanders out <laughs> with that. And so we made kind of a conscious effort to come up with something that still has a lot of quality to it and, and is something that, that kids would like to play with but it's a little bit more simple pr to produce. Mm -hmm. uh, we came up with a prototype before this one and actually this design has actually been kind of a two-year project because we designed a more detailed one and we said no we don't want to produce that one and so we actually came up with this design here uh, some of the features is we try to use the material how it comes to us in other words you can kind of identify some of these look still pretty much like two befores mm -hmm. with some and then uh, the rest of them are, are standard sizes more or less and we've been trying to keep the toy in about a 10 to 12 inch box or uh, to that size because mm -hmm. because it uh, does get expensive when you're uh, even though we have a lot of sponsors that help supply this we want to keep the cost down somewhat too so we want to try to make the toy the right size for for kids to be able to play with mm -hmm. the target age i think uh, two to six somewhere around there uh, we also try to design them where they're safe where mm -hmm. There are no pieces that can be broken off easily mm -hmm. and uh, choked on or things like that. Yeah, no small pieces no on small that. No small pieces, especially on this one. And, the wheels and, turn. Yeah, uh, the wheels turn and... and uh, How about the bed? Does the it bed move? Does, the, the bed does, ah. the bed articulates. And uh, so we feel like this was really good for developing imagination. We mm -hmm. have so many toys now that you don't need any imagination to play with them because they do it all. But I, I think could see this on the living room floor on uh, Christmas morning very easily. Uh, with a lot of the Christmas ornaments off the tree in the uh, back. Uh, absolutely. Dumped out stuff. But it's, I, I believe it's, it's one of our really good designs that we had of the many, that, of the, the 23 that we've done. So Saturday morning, 9 a.m. at Davis Hall. Just come to room 150, 150. and there will be plenty of folks mm -hmm. to show you where to go and what to do. That is right. How to do it. We will direct you to where we need you. The 23rd annual Toys for to uh, Teaming Up for Tots event, uh, sponsored through the uh, Technology Studies Department at Fort Hayes State University. And our guest has been the Assistant Professor of Technology Studies at Fort Hayes State, Dwayne Renfro. Thanks for joining us and thanks to our producer, Jeff Durall. Thanks for watching Eagle Community Television.